the sickening thud from an attack which left Heaton Stannington's Paul Blakey with a broken jaw. The punch from Bertley Town's Mark Brereton has put the issue of violence in football back in the spotlight. We've come down to Sudden and West End v Bolden in the Wearside League to find out if violence is still a problem. The issue of violence has been a talked about issue in football through the years, whether it be physical or verbal, between players, management or referees. Sunderland West End assistant manager Gary Gettins says although there are isolated incidents, it isn't a huge issue. Football is a competitive sport, so you are, if you don't have the emotion and the aggression in the game, then you haven't got a game. I think that exceptional incidents happen from time to time, but overall, institutionally, no. Bolden are the worst disciplined side in the Wearside League so far this season. Forward Brody Simpson says ill discipline does still escalate from time to time. It's now and again you get the certain players that'll snap and then they'll lose it and then that sparks the whole teams up and then that's when you get violent games and dirty challenges and sendings off and bookings and all the rest. From games all over the world it is easily seen that referees get a lot of verbal abuse from players due to decisions they make. I spoke to referee Stephen Burkett to see if he thinks violence is a problem for him and other officials. Um, it can be a problem, it depends on the game, depends on the profile of fixtures, it depends on the clubs, how close they are to each other, whether it's derbies or not, lots of factors can can, can cause violence and ill discipline in the game. It's a factor, it's there, it's just got to be managed. And even though violence in football isn't seen every week, violence may still have its place in football from time to time, whether we like it or not.